let's get cooking. Hi everyone and welcome back to another edition of Slow Cooker Bill Presents Chicken Pasta. This one's a little different than the last one I posted. Instead of having whole pieces of chicken on there, we're going to shred up the chicken just like we did in that chicken enchilada recipe I had. So we're going to use four chicken thighs. We're going to use one small onion. We're going to use two jars of any kind of uh, brand that you'd like to use. I got 24 ounces and this one has a tomato, onion and garlic in it. But so I like the taste of real onion. I like uh, one teaspoon of oregano, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, two types of cheeses. We're going to do one mozzarella and the other one is going to be Italian style. And then one box of pini noodles. And we'll take these noodles and towards the end of the four hours on this, we'll put it on the stove and cook it. At the same time, while that's cooking, we'll be shredding our chicken. So about eight to ten minutes we're going to boil it, depending on how you like your tenderness on the, on the noodles. We'll then put the noodles in here, we'll mix it all up real good, and then uh, we'll add our cheeses and everything, and then we'll cook it on low for 30 minutes. Okay, we'll cook it on high for four hours, low on 30 minutes after that, okay? Oh yeah, I almost forgot, we're also going to add one teaspoon of minced garlic, okay? All right, I believe I got everybody in the mix. We'll get this in a place card for you and then put it in the description down below. So uh, let's get cooking. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is have one jar in first. Okay, good enough. Next, we're going to add in our seasoning. One teaspoon of oregano. Two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Now, you can always adjust your seasoning accordingly. And then I'm going to add in some garlic. And then we're going to give that a nice little mix, just like that. All right. Okay. Good enough. Next, we're going to add in the onions. Next, we'll add in the chicken. And there you have it. Next, we'll add in the other jar of sauce right on top of that. Just like that. Perfect. Now we'll put this on high for four hours in a six quart slow cooker. See you then. Okay, our eight hours has passed. And this is what we're looking at. Boy, doesn't that look good? Okay, so for now, what we're gonna do is take out one piece of chicken at a time and put it on the plate and then shred it, okay? Let me show you how we're gonna do that. Okay, so first we're gonna find us a piece of chicken. We're gonna pick it up and stick it on the plate. Just that simple. And this will fall in pieces real quick. I mean, it's so tender, look at that. See how fast it just breaks up? And we just separate it. Real simple. All right, let me finish this up and then we'll get back to the other part. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add half a bag of the mozzarella. And you only wanna do half a bag. You don't wanna put the whole bag in there, all right? What the half a bag is going to do, it's going to thicken up that sauce real nice. Because the cheese will melt and it'll thicken the sauce up a little bit, alright? So 
So I'm going to take the spoon and give it a little stir. And then next we're going to add in our noodles that we prepared on the stove, okay? So here we go. We're going to add in that, all of it. And you want to try and get out as much of the water as possible because you don't want your spaghetti to be soupy. And you can see I still have a little bit of water down there at the bottom of my pot. It just can't be helped because, you know, these noodles got holes in them, so it retains some of the water. That's why I say, you know, as best as you can is good enough. Okay, now it's got her. I'm going to mix it up one more time. I'm telling you, you're just going to love this. This is good stuff. And then what we're going to do with the other one, we've got the Italian flavored cheese. We're going to just layer that right up on top. Then we're going to put it on low for uh, 30 minutes. And that's it. We're not going to add anything else. This is, this is a, a whole meal right here. Okay. You can see all that chicken and all that sauce. Look at that. Boy, that looks really good. All right, we're going to flatten it out a little bit. cheese. I'm going to just throw it right on top. I'm going to be careful that it doesn't clump up on you. Now if you want, you can use uh, two bags of mozzarella and then throw in some Parmesan cheese if you want. Totally up to you. This is only my suggestion. Now we just leave it alone for another 30 minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, our 30 minutes has passed. And there you go. Look at that. Alright, so I'm going to put this on a plate for you. And there you have it. You can see the cheese on top with the pini pasta and the chicken and, and the uh, spaghetti sauce. Let's see how it tastes. Huh, let's dig in, shall we? It smells fantastic. Wow. The spices come alive when you're eating this. I'm telling you, I get the taste of cheese in it. And the uh, chicken is fantastic along with the noodles. Just one complete dish. Very good. Highly recommend it. If you make this, please leave a description down below. Let others know what you think of it. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the little subscribe button down below. Love to have you as part of the family. You can find me on Facebook. I have a link down below. And I also have my DVD on special this week for $7.95. I have a, my webpage down below, just click on the link and you could go check out the recipes on that. Well, this has been another Slow Cooker Build presentation. Y'all take care of yourself and be safe.